Hey there, so manufacturing travellers in a manufacturing process, the required for traceability purposes. It's where you record uh, every stage and every operation in the manufacturing process that it's been completed. Um, you capture some key information like quality inspections, measurements, uh, batch numbers or serial numbers of any components that have been used as part of the process. Um, and maybe things like key process information like if it's been cured in an oven, uh, for how long and at what temperature and by who. So collecting all this information can be quite a big task in a manufacturing process. Traditionally, it was done on paper. So every uh, order that went through a factory had a job pack. Uh, in there, it had the manufacturing traveler and operators would just write on, initial it and write on what they've done as it progresses through the manufacturing process. Um, these days, you can create electronic travelers. Uh, it means your business is moving towards going paperless. Uh, it can lead to less mistakes and it means that any issues are identified earlier. You know, if there's a measurement that's, that's out of range, rather than writing it down on a piece of paper and that, mis that uh, error is picked up a uh, quality inspection at the end of the process, if it's entered electronically, as soon as that happens, people can be notified about it and corrective action can be taken immediately. So within the Taskus Manufacturing Execution System, electronic manufacturing travelers are a key component of that. Every production sequence that you run creates a manufacturing traveler. So let's take a quick look at how that works in Taskus. Hey, so I've got a works order loaded up here, ready to go. It's ready to do a, a functional test operation. Um, within that, I need to collect some data and add it to the manufacturing traveler. So let's take a quick look how that works. Um, I'll hit start on that production sequence over here. Um, and it takes me, uh, again, using the visual work instructions, but then puts me into uh, a, a data entry field where I need to complete a test and then measure a voltage. So uh, I'm going to do that test uh, and I get a re result of four volts and it's okay with that, it lets me pass. Let's just say this time uh, I take a measurement and it's too high, it's outside of the, of the range uh, allowable for this test. It's going to stop me and say, this step's failed, you need to rectify this before moving on. So it's that kind of live uh, data entry of capturing issues with the traveller that lets you resolve issues uh, more quickly. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to carry on, do the rest of the tests uh, and get my get my process for that works order completed. Let's now go and have a quick look at what that looks like. So if we go over to product report and we refresh this here. Uh, so I've got my manufacturing traveler on the screen now in a digital version. Uh, so it tells me that it's, it's in progress but passed. Uh, and I've got the results of all the operations here expandable. Uh, so let's go down to the test operation that we've just completed. So it says that Martin completed that uh, right now. Uh, and I've got the numeric results for every single step uh, in there um, with the, the high and the low limits of every test that I've, I've completed. So you can drill down into all this information. If it's numeric data like that, we can also trend that out and do things like statistical process control on it. But in terms of the manufacturing traveler, when you include data collection within your digital work instructions, the data is there in the system immediately. You can put in a, a kind of error detection to eliminate data entry mistakes. It makes it a lot more efficient and a lot more kind of error proofed. So that's how we handle electronic manufacturing travelers in Taskus. Thanks a lot. Any questions, drop a comment below and we'll get back to you. Thanks.